Okay. Let's cross it out. We're pulling from muscle and cerebral memory what we need for today's class, which will be a 30 minute, um, very classic reformer routine. Uh, we've been exploring some very different ways to work with the machine, but let's get to the basics so that you'll always have this to pull out and do a nice little short routine with. Uncross, lock it in, look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit. Let's do a couple of cat cows getting down to um, the floor for just a moment to warm up the spine and then we'll hop on. So breathe in and as you exhale, drop your chin. Walk down the legs onto your mat toward the front of it and into the down face dog. You have all 10 toes equally on the floor. Now breathe. As you exhale, press back and get the stretch in the backs of your legs. You're breathing here. Then bend the knees, they carefully come to the floor and uncurl your toes. Palms under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Without moving the spine, scoop your belly up and then let it drop. Do that again, scoop and supple core together. Hold those two as you exhale, feel them deepen. Hold as you inhale, as you exhale, use those connections to tuck the pelvis a little, and then round up into the cat, looking at your navel and feeling this great stretch up and down the spine. Then reorient yourself into the old cow, softening the elbows a little and looking up. Scoop your belly and let that motivate you up into the cat again, breathing. Then release it into the old cow, and look up. Come back to the middle. Those palms move forward one step. We'll take the torso forward as you breathe and then exhale, press back. Do this again, forward and exhale back. Gliding forward, the sits bones come together a little, pressing back, they widen apart. And we'll do one more articulation in your sacroiliac joint. Come back to the middle, and move the palms under your shoulders. Let's do a slightly different balance. It's the same theme. Close your eyes, scoop your belly, breathe in, and as you exhale, right arm, left leg, extend out. Mm -hmm. And holding here, and we did this with Lisa the other day. You're going to keep your eyes closed this time. Round your spine up into a cat, bring your left knee in towards your chest, and touch it with your right forearm. Then everything goes back out. Use your uh, glute to lift the leg there. And then do that again, same arm, same leg. Keep your eyes closed, and we'll do one more time. Round up, reach under, touch, and out again. And then put that set down. Let's do the other side, breathe. And close your eyes, left arm, right leg, float out and up. Then round up into the cat, and touch the forearm to the thigh. And then back out you go. Use the leg to uh, the glute to lift the leg there. And then scoop tight and round up, touch. And then back out you go. And we'll do one more. And back out you go. And then put everything on the floor. You can open your eyes, inhale. As you exhale, pinch your right waist and look over your shoulder. And then through the middle to your left and look left. Through the middle to your right, looking right, your feet and fingers pivot to the right, breathe and round up, run your left arm way across the right arm, and sit back a little ways to elongate your spine on the left side. You're breathing into this. Let's come back up to all fours, center yourself, and go to the left. Hips, head, feet, fingers, round it up. Reach the right arm way out in front of the left and sit back. And you're breathing here, getting that stretch on your right side. Let's come back to the center. Round up into the cat one more time. And this time we'll take the hips back toward the heels to accentuate the stretch in your spine. And you're breathing. 
Then we bring it back to the center. One more cow. And then come back to the middle. Dig your toes in, pop the hips up, press back one more time, breathing into it. Then walk your hands in towards your feet and up your legs, articulating your spine all the way to the top and come over to your reformer. We'll start with footwork. So you should have on two reds and one blue for you. If that's too much, you reduce it to two reds and one yellow. Okay, uh, your settings are, uh, you know, pulled away from your spring setting. Your springboard is pulled away from the bumper so that it can accommodate your height. On you go and put your feet on the bar. The balls of your feet have a nice little perch there on the foot bar, heels up. And knees together, breathe. As you exhale, scoop tight, straighten the legs out and then bend the knees and bring it back. Let's do that again. Squeeze from the glutes and bring it back. The inner thighs are firing, just to keep the knees together. And you're coming out and bring it back. Let's go for two more. Last time, take it out and hold and drop the heels under and give yourself that nice little crunchy stretch in the backs of your legs. So you're breathing. Couple more. And then let's bend the knees and bring it back to the bumper. Turn it to Pilates V, heels together, knees wide. Check your connections and go. Stretch it out. Bend the knees, bring it back. Exhale, squeeze out and bring it back. The longer the legs, more the, uh, you'll feel more scooping going on and squeeze out and control back. Breathing and back. Let's go for two more. And last time, hold, drop the heels under and give it a little stretch more laterally across your calf. So maybe do your prances, high heel, low heel, drop both under. You have your routine worked out there, it works for you. And you're breathing. Good. Let's bend both knees, bring it back to the bumper, and lower your headrest so that it's flat. Put the arches of your feet on, and they're, uh, they're maybe three or four inches apart. Breathe in as you exhale, scoop, and lift the hips up into a bridge, press into your arms. So you feel your hamstrings and glutes here. Now stretch the legs out and bend them back. Hips stay high. Out you go and bring them back. Just keep breathing, exhaling out, inhaling back. Let's go for three more with the hips high and back, good. Two more and last time out. Bring it back to the bumper, breathe. And as you exhale, keep your knees bent and articulate the spine down onto the carriage again. Turn out in a Pilates V. You've got the balls of the feet there. I like to do one more high hip series. Breathe in as you exhale. In a turned out position, articulate up to your shoulder bridge again. So this time is more like a high frog kick. And bring it back. And exhale, squeeze it out. Inhale, bring it back. And so you're working outer thigh, inner thigh. Your arms are pressing into the mat. You're breathing, glutes, go for a couple of more. And last time, bring it back to the bumper and hold. Back to the bumper and now articulate down. So we're holding on with those muscles behind your legs. Keep the carriage still. And when you're down, pull your knees in towards your chest. Let's take a wide stance and a grand plie. You can bring your headrest back up if it's more comfortable. 
And here we go, last little series. Out you go, squeezing, hips are down, and bring it back to the bumper. So we're turned out in a grand plie, and back you go. Squeezing glutes, inner and outer thighs. And on this one, I want you to, as you stretch your legs out, point your toes around the end of the bar, flex your feet, and bring it back. So we'll add a little foot choreography here. Out, point, give it a stretch, flex, and bring it back. Point, flex, bring it back. Go for two more like this. And last time, bring it back, hold. Pull your knees in for a moment. And then I'm going to get my handles. All right. Okay, come back on. Headrest is up a bit. All right, you have put two red springs on and your handles. The fingers are extended up toward the ceiling, shoulders on the floor, in your core. The feet are off, let's go. Straight down to the carriage. And then bring it back up again, breathe. As you exhale, press and up. So we're feeling a lot of work behind the shoulders here. And exhale down and inhale up. One more like this. This time, shoot the legs out to a teaser and then bring them back in. Shoot the legs out and bring it back in. Feeling the low abs, deal with the weight of the legs. We'll do one more like this. Let's add the head this time. Up it comes and then it drops back down. Exhale, head and legs out, and down. Exhale up, inhale down. We'll go for two more. And last time. Good, put your feet on the bar for a second. And refresh your core. Fingers up again, feet off the bar. Arms go to your sides this time. Pull forward just a bit, and let's pull. The arms in towards your sides, and back out. And exhale, pull, and out. Feeling the muscles behind the shoulders working. And out, we'll do one more like this. Out and pause, turn into a frog leg, and we're going to zip the legs out. You're turned out, when you bring your arms in, and then bend the knees, arms wide. Exhale, squeeze out, and bend. Out, and in. Working from behind the shoulders. One more like this. Let's add the head. Head comes up, legs out, and then return. Exhale, looking at the ceiling, feeling upper abs. And zip it out there, and back. Let's go for two more. And last time like this, hold, hold, hold. Turn your arms down toward, or your hands down toward the uh, carriage, and let's do a few of the 100s. Patting your arms up and down. You're breathing through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. And the scoop ribs labs, check them. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Couple more sets to go. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Last set. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Head down, feet to the bar. Give yourself a little break there. Then fingers extend up toward the ceiling. Feet come off the foot bar. This time you can just cross the ankles. Breathe in as you exhale, take the arms straight to the carriage and hold. Bend the elbows. Let's do some tricep work here and press straight down. Inhale up and exhale, squeeze down. So you're feeling the muscles behind, between, and under your shoulders. Your belly is scooped and you're pressing down. Go for three more like this. And a couple of more. Press. Last time, press and hold. Now flap out toward the sides and pull back in towards your hips. Elbows stay planted on the carriage near your waist and press back in. Out and press. And breathing and exhaling. You feel the chest wide, your belly is scooped, ribs closed. We'll go for a couple more, press. And last time, press. And then arms go up toward the ceiling, feet to the bar. 
Let's make some big circles, straight arms, feet come off the uh, shoulder, uh, the foot bar, across the ankles, and let's go. Arms circle wide to the sides, and back up to the top. Backs of the shoulders stay planted, up to the top, scoop tight, feel your core, and up. You feel neutral spine the whole time, and up. Let's go for a couple more this way. And last time this way. And then reverse, straight down, open the palms to the ceiling and circle up. Exhale down, circle around, and then palms down. Breathing out, exhale down, one more time. And press down, Float the arms up, the feet come to the bar. Now, um, scoot away from the shoulder rest just a little so that you have a little room back there. Let's do some lat pull downs. So you'll grasp your ropes way over your head. Release the handles, there you go. And the elbows are out to the sides, the feet come off the bar. And breathe as you exhale, Pull, and the elbows tuck in towards your waist. Good, and then extend the arms out. We'll keep your armpits towards your hips. And do that again, give it a good pull. We're going for muscles behind the shoulders and across your mid-back, extend and pull. Good, and back out you go. And let's go again, scoop tight and out. Let's go for a couple more. And pull, one more time here, and pull. Good, put your feet on the bar, retake your handles. Let's do one more pattern with the biceps. So um, start in a hammer curl position, meaning that the palms face each other as you're gripping your handles. And the elbows go straight down and they bend. So the only difference is, is that we're working more bicep with this hand position. Your palms face each other as they grip the handles. And press down. And again, feeling more bicep work against the resistance here. And squeeze. Go for a couple more like this. And hold. Now, the, uh, the palms <laughs> How do I get you into this? Oh, take it up toward the ceiling, and we're going to flip the palms completely so that your thumbs are to the outside. Breathe in as you exhale, elbows down to uh, the carriage again, and we'll do some real bicep curls here. All right, the real familiar feeling ones. Elbows down, good. Squeeze it out. So, what's happening is that you're working against resistance as you lengthen the muscle. Creates a very beautifully shaped bicep, not real bunchy. And exhale, press. Feeling triceps kick in right there at the end. And we'll go again, squeeze. Two more. Ha, last time. Good. Arms go up, feet to the bar. Good. Um, Go ahead and put your handles somewhere you can reach them and just stretch your arms out for a moment. You might let them just hang out to the sides. All right, now, put your feet inside. And nice, the legs go up toward the ceiling when you're ready. You have on two and a quarter springs for you. If you find that that's too much or too little, you just adjust as you go. So you're getting that nice stretch down the backs of your legs, breathing into it, sacrum bones trying to stay kind of flat there. Let the legs go out to the sides, just kind of uh, getting into your inner thighs for a moment. You can do some soft little bends and pushes, bends and straightens. Good, then bring the legs back up toward the ceiling and press the hips just forward of, your legs just forward of the hips. Breathe in as you exhale, squeeze the glutes and let's take the legs down. And inhale up, your feet are parallel. And exhale, press down again. The lower the legs go, probably a little more core you might feel. 
and up you go. You are staying neutral the whole time, so we're not pressing the lumbar down at any time. And go again, start that work with the glute, finish with the glutes. And we'll go for a couple more like this, press. And last time, turn into Pilates V and keep going. Up and squeeze down. The knees can be in a diamond pull position. And squeeze down, you feel the outer edge of the glutes, the inner and outer thighs working. And squeeze down and inhale up. Press and up. Let's go for two more. Up. Last time, take it down about halfway and hold. Let's add some frog kicks here. Bend your knees and then straighten. Bend and squeeze. So we're feeling the work start in the glutes, go into the inner and outer thighs, and breathing, sacrum bone flat. Bend and out. So for three more. And out. Two more like this. Squeeze out. Last time, out and hold, hold, hold. Now, the legs go slightly wide. Okay, so spread them uh, past the, the wooden rails. Then bend your knees, bring the heels together, and send the legs out again. So we're doing that through the water thing. There you go. And out. The legs go wide, heels together, and out. Something's not happening here. Are your legs going out wide? Yes. Oh, okay, I guess it must be the angle. Okay, wow, you're on a great, um, oh, I see why, because you're doing it very well. <laughs> you're staying on a very nice level with those heels. And let's reverse the direction. So pull the heels in together, they develop out to the sides, and then pull back together. In, wide, and pull. In, wide, and straight. Breathing wide, exhale. So we're getting some nice rotation through your hip joints, smoothly like you're going through the water. Let's go for a couple more like this. Last time, and hold. The legs go up toward the ceiling, and into a V about the width of your, um, your machine. Breathe in as you exhale, trace the tail of the V down, and the heels touch. And then they float up and wide. Squeeze and touch down, and inhale up. So think glute and inner thigh here, and up. Let's go for a couple more like this, and up, and last time. Take it up toward the ceiling and just let the legs go out to the sides for a moment, stretch. And while you're doing that, let's put the headrest down flat. We'll do a short series of um, so, uh, inversions. So your feet are parallel, the knees are together. Your legs are straight. Okay, they're pressed down, down, down. We're going to get a little momentum going, okay? So bend the knees, they go wide. You zip them out and then let the machine and the uh, tension carry you up to a shoulder stand. You're breathing here, soften the knees, out to the sides a little, and articulate down, take the carriage with you. So your feet in the carriage are moving as your spine drops, down, down, and down. Good, then when you're down, take your time, beautiful. Send the legs out in front of you straight. Yeah, they're kind of low. Bend the knees, straighten them, and then let the momentum carry you up to shoulder stand again. Let's stay here and do a few little high frogs. So you're just going to stay in shoulder stand, bend and straighten your knees. Bend and straighten. Couple more. Scoop tight, press into your arms. Last time. Hold, and then soften the knees a little, and let's take it down one more time. Take the carriage with you. Your legs and feet moving, abs working, spine articulating, and down, and down, and down you go. 
Good. Let's send the legs up, to, oh, put your headrest up and we'll finish out with some circles. So the legs go wide to the sides, they circle around and to the top. Legs wide to the sides and up to the top. Getting those nice rotations through your hip joints. Toes turn in as they go up and toes turn out as they circle wide. Rotating from the hip, feet just responding. And good. Up, wide, squeeze your glutes to pull the legs down and low. We'll do one more this way. Now let's reverse it. Wide to the sides and then straight down the middle. Wide to the sides, turn out, then turn in and drop. Breathing out, exhale down, go for a couple of more, and down, last time, and down. Good, bend your knees so that you can start to remove your fuzzies. And when they're off, you come up to seated. You'll reduce your tension to uh, a blue and a red for you. And let's do uh, an up-down stretch. Working a little in extension. Shoulders roll down and back. You feel a neutral spine. Let's go. Push away. And then pull forward and press away and inhale forward. Working with a wide chest, muscles behind the shoulders active and light extension, a lot of core. And go for three, a couple of more. And last time, take it out and hold. Flip it into a cat and bring it in toward the bumper with your spine rising up toward the ceiling. And then right back out you go when you're at the end there. Flip it into a cat and up, up, up toward the ceiling, stretching your spine, stretching and working those abs. We'll go for one more like that. Out you go. And then round it up, up, up. And really scooping stretching, breathing, and nice. Let's um, come down to the sides. Take your uh, right foot off, I think it's your, no, your left foot, and let's do a scooter. So you'll leave it on one and a half, and let's go, drop. You're already getting a nice little stretch there, and then up you go and press down and squeeze the glute up. Breathing down, exhale up. Let's go for two more like this and up. And last time, good, hold here. Now keep the leg that's on the floor straight. Move your foot up the shoulder rest a little and kick back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll indulge that if you need to stretch. Okay, so uh, bring your torso a little more erect. Uh-huh, and then bend and straighten the knee that's, uh, on, that's got the foot on the shoulder rest. Bend the knee and straighten. Now it's the other knee, the one that's up on the shoulder rest. There you go. <laughs> Your way or the highway, buddy. <laughs> okay, couple more. And nice, you got it. <laughs> All right, then uh, move the foot down uh, so that you can get that forearms on the bar and just take a really nice stretch here. So you're breathing into it and feeling your whole hip flexor quad open. You feel a stretch on the back of the thigh that, of the foot that's on the floor and you breathe in. Then let's come up and change sides. Good. 
So let's go. You're going to bend, getting a nice stretch started, and then squeeze the glute to come up and press down and up. You're breathing and squeezing up and like a one-legged squat here, up. Let's go for a couple of more. Squeeze up and last time and take it to the top. Now the leg that's on the floor stays straight and your foot moves up to the top of the shoulder rest and you'll kick and spin. <laughs> yeah, straighten and bend. Squeeze out from the glute there and out and bend. Scoot tight for a little more stretch. Bring your torso more erect and you'll get into that hip flexor as you stretch the leg out and go again. Go for three, two, one and hold. Let's add just a couple of flexes and points out there at the end. Working the calf and the ankle joint. You're breathing. Nice. And then bend the knee and bring it back in. Move the foot down. Drop into it and put your forearms on the bar and get that nice stretch on the other side. So you're breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Then let's bring it all the way up to standing. I'd like to work a little bit with your box on and just get to your upper body, your pecs and biceps, triceps again. So, take, so you're going to sit facing uh, the foot bar to start. And go ahead and put, um, I'd say a red and a blue, a uh, yellow on for you for this particular exercise. Okay, I've got the uh, handles and that webbing between my thumb and index finger, and I'm going to serve some brownies. So you should be on a red and a blue probably. If that's too much, you reduce. Let's go. Serve some brownies and retract the elbows. Serve them out and retract. Work slowly so that you feel these muscles really recruiting through the biceps and triceps, your pectorals and between the shoulders. So if it gets too fast, it just turns into an elbow pop. And you're exhaling and scooping tightly as you press out. Shoulders retract, glide back. And we'll go for two more like this. And retract. Last time, just squeeze your peg muscles and you will send some work there. And then back and hold for a moment. Let's do some flies if they're like hug a tree. So the arms are about shoulder height. Breathe and as you exhale, hug that tree and then go wide. Go ahead and squeeze your pectorals before you even start. And you will send a lot of work there. Hug the tree and go wide. The elbows have a soft bend in them and the shoulders retract and exhale. And we'll go for three more. Two more like this. And last time. Good, let's bring it back and uh, just work your arms behind you. Turn around and face the other way. You can probably take uh, two reds and your blue for this. So we'll be working more uh, pectorals and biceps here. Be right back. Shoulders down and back. And here we go. Pull and extend out. So as, if that's too much, you reduce. And your shoulders are square and they're fixed. You've got biceps. The elbows are very stable in space. So they don't, um, you know, pop out in front of you or anything. Let's go for three more. Two more, scoop tight. Last time. 
Good. And hold here. Now cross your ropes. Shoulders down and back. These are rows. And your elbows go just to beneath shoulder height. And then extend out. And pull in. Good. Widen the chest there. Keep your shoulders fixed as your arms go straight also. We're not going to move the upper back. Pull. And out. And feeling that nice work through biceps, triceps, and pecs. And scoop tight. And go for three. Two more. Last time like this. Good. And now I want you to start low and pull high. Okay, so it goes up under your chin, but guess what? Your shoulders do not creep up, but your elbows go high. And we're pulling from low to high. Extend the arms all the way out, all the way out. Whoops. Now extend them all the way down, like this, and start there. So we get a really long carriage. Arms way out, and then pull up. Yeah. So they straighten, and then they pull. And exhale. Good. Three more. Two more like this. And last time. Pull. And back you go. Let's finish with a short little tricep. Just back and forth. But we're going to widen through the chest. Here we go. Shoulders down and back. You're in your core. And press straight back. Pause. And then release forward. And press back. Pause. Release forward. Good. Shoulders wide as you press back. And stay wide as you go forward. And let's go again. Press. And again. Two more. Last time. Good. Bring it back. Put them on. Turn. And what I would do is just a little stretch like this, just to get you out of those triceps and pecs for a moment. You can shake your head, roll your shoulders, and cross it up. We'll put this into your muscle and cerebral memory, working around your body, and know that you can pull this out and get a very well rounded workout in a short amount of time with that. So let's lock it in there. Look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Then release it, move about just a little bit. And there's your class today.